Hello Billy back at it again. Are we doing that already? Yeah. Oh. Why not? I was just like just about to say. Um, I was at my friend's house today and we were playing Cards Against Humanity. But um, he like made like half the cards were just like his own thing. So it was like really interesting. But a lot of them were like target based. So it was like, what do I hate the most? And it's like someone's name from Target. <laughs> it was hilarious. Or it was like that bitch name from Target. <laughs> it was, it was, that was that was funny as hell. It made me laugh. LOL. I guess. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about favorite consoles or games. And like, like I don't know if I said this in the one podcast we did, but like the freaking like I feel like I'm into more consoles than the games of them of it because like. I have, like, way more consoles than I do games. Well, not, like, you get the point. Like, it's not a good balance, like... Yeah. Like, I have, like, I don't know. I have Say I have, like, f- seven games for Wii U, and I have, like, a couple games for Genesis, a couple games for this system. It's, like, it's not like I have, like, 40 PS2 games or something. So, like, I don't know. It's, it's strange. Like life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but funny joke. I'm gonna start off with. I'm trying to think of a console. I'm gonna try to start off with a console. All right. Go for it. Yeah, I, I am. I'm trying to think of like console that I like the most playing that I can just like sit down and like play it without like no questions asked. Like no matter what mood I am. But like I can't really like think of any because it depends on the like, game obviously and like what it is. Like. Yeah. To me, it always just depends on the mood I am. Like, I can't just... Like, it really just fucking depends. Oh, my God. I'm so close. It, it's just like... I'm still playing Sonic Mania. Good. It's been a week. <laughs> I've been sitting here for a week at this special <laughs> stage. Like, I like newer... Like, I like example, like, I can look at Nintendo 64 and be like, I'm going to try to play this. But that's the system that you have to be in the right mood for because, like, you're like, ew, like, the graphics. And it's like, ew, like, I have to, like actually like try to play but like something something like newer that like like Grand Theft Auto 5 like you can just play that and it's like a newer game and it's like how the fuck am I supposed to do this and you can just sit down Sorry. and play it <clears throat> but like with like okay I'm done I'm done yeah I'm, I'm zen mode right now guys yeah okay yeah you're right but like NES it depends what game on NES but like I don't know it's so confusing like I don't know like, everything, uh, there's different consoles have different feels. Like, you know, when you play PS2, you feel like PS2 is kind of like, you, when I hear PS2, it's like you play a story game at like 12 o'clock at night <laughs> with the lights off and then like yep. you're playing, you know, you're like chilling and you're, you're actually going through a story of the game. Like, it's with like every system. It's like Nintendo 64, I can see you have friends over in the middle of the That's day. That's like a party system. Yeah, exactly. And it's like... It, it's so strange how like systems do that. It's like GameCube. It's kind of like a party system, even like kind of more. So like, what's some of like your just favorite games in general? Without okay, obviously you can't say I don't know in this situation. <laughs> I don't know. No, <laughs> I'm gonna try to think. It's it's hard because like, mm-hmm. I understand it's hard to have like to think of a favorite game like, but just games that you always go back to. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. Come on, it's it's so you know, the Sims, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah, like but that. that's like I'm trying to think of console stuff. Like all, <laughs> obviously, obviously, fucking like look, Minecraft. Like that's great. Sorry, I got really pissed at Sonic. Like Mania. Minecraft is great. Like I can literally play that. See, now you're on the side. Every day, every day. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of a game on console that I can like play on the every day, low key. Well, while you do that. I know that probably yeah, really. my number one favorite system. Most of my favorite shit's Nintendo. Um, most of it. But I am a slut for the GameCube. <laughs> that is a slut. Yep. That's that's just I grew up with that. That's like my thing. So when people are like, Oh, NES was my childhood, GameCube was my childhood. That screams Nintendo to me. And when I think GameCube, I just think all the happy memories of my life growing up um and it's just like no matter what time of day it was no matter what day it was 
because I'm really like day specific. Like certain days, I'm like, yeah. Other days, I'm like, uh, like I hate Sundays. You hate Sundays? Yeah. Wow. Because they're lazy days. Yeah. And I hate that. But you don't have to be lazy. I just mean like in general because it's like yeah, I guess. it's like the next so. it's like oh I'm off Sunday oh I work on Monday or oh I go to school on Monday and it's like I always slept over my uh, nana's house as a kid and it's like I'd come back Sunday and it's like oh I'm back home and I'm going food shopping at Walmart and I hate Walmart it's just like like I hate Sundays it's just the butt day and it's like I want to chill but it's like, oh, I gotta finish schoolwork, or oh, I'm I have to go to bed at a normal time because I have school tomorrow. It's just, it's just balls, you know. I hate it. So, um, I really, like, GameCube just saw me through those days. Like, I would come home. It's Sunday. I would just play Mario Sunshine. Like that was the game. It doesn't matter on the mood. It doesn't matter on anything. It's just Mario Sunshine. Always put me in the right mood. And I always remember, like, it would be a school night, and, like, it's, like, before bed, I'm playing Mario Sunshine. I'm doing whatever levels I can, and it was just fun. I remember, like, one night, I was just, I was playing Sonic Adventure 2, um, because that was on GameCube. It was on originally Dreamcast, but they ported it to GameCube. And that was just, like, so fun, and it was just perfect. I remember, like... There was like this uh, item you could use, at, like as Rouge the Bat, and it would like locate secret items. But it was like these like spy glasses, and it would make the screen all green. And I had a like like a tube TV, not CRT, but like tube with a flat end. I don't know. Um, and like my mom would always say like, oh, don't put magnets on the uh, TV; it'll break it. So I like put the spy glasses on or whatever, and I'm like, mom, I broke the TV. And she's like, oh, well, I told you, we're not getting you a new one. And then, like, you would have to jump to get them off. And I'm like, hey, psych! And it was just me being a kid. So GameCube just always saw me through that. I remember being scared of Luigi's Mansion. Literally scared shitless. To the point where my dad would have to play the game. For, like, he beat that game for me so many times just because I was scared but always wanted to watch him play it. So every time he would uh, get a ghost, um, there was like this St. Patrick's Day parade and they had like these FIFA horns that you could buy. And I had one. And I would always blow into like the horn whenever he was like getting a ghost. And it was like the good luck thing. And like I said, like I was a kid, I was like four years old or whatever. It was just that. And I fucking remember, I got, I think, I swear it was on my birthday when I got the GameCube. I just like, I remember getting it and I remember seeing the box in the basement if I ever wanted to look at it but I was just like wow like this is a fucking like I thought that I got the fucking GameCube I don't know what this is but it's the GameCube and then like I remember I saw Luigi's Mansion in the store one day I'm like oh that's cool it's a haunted game I always called it Luigi's Old Mansion because I thought that's what it was called but then I like I remember holding that Holding Luigi's Mansion for the first time, and that was a brand new game. Yeah. Like, that had just come out. That was like picking up Grand Theft Auto V today. I'm just like, wow. Like, what? Like, this is crazy. And then, fucking, I remember having Mario Kart Double Dash. That was like, that game, I would sit in my room. Just like on time trial, um, driving around, I forget what the map's called, but it's the one that it's like the city at night, and like I would just be um, Mario, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I would play as Mario and Luigi, and I was just like, I wouldn't even, I, did you hear that? No. I heard like another voice, like outside, but it sounded like it was in my ear, it was weird. Um, and it was like, I would just drive around the map, map. And I would pretend like I was just like cruising. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, Luigi, let's go here. Let's go there." Cause I was a little kid. And then, like I said, Mario Sunshine, everything. And that was one of those things where I could, like, I was too young to play the game, so I'd have my dad do it, and I would just tell him where to go. And I just like, it was so fucking chill. Like I don't even remember like other games that I had for the GameCube. No, I lie. I kid. 
I remember one Christmas I got Batman Vengeance and that game was cool but here's the thing is like the beginning level you're like walking through like these alleys or something I'm trying to go off what I remember and I was just lost like I, I was walking around these for like like hours and I was like I don't know what I'm doing I don't really like this game so I kind of just gave up on it but like months later I found out you're supposed to go up this ladder and then when I did that that was like the best game ever so I was like what this is a game and like I did everything and that game's still pretty good that's like pre Arkham City era like I just gotta like try that again and like see how it holds up and I remember I had I, I actually have it cuz I found it at the thrift store one day and I like tried to do it to relive my childhood it was um PK Duck um, it was a Disney, like, Donald Duck-ish game. It wasn't Donald Duck, it was PK Duck. Where's that at? Um. Uh, I think this is it. Yeah. PK Duck. Or, no, just PK, Out of the Shadows. That game, it's made by Ubisoft. Uh, I played that so much. And, like, I was, like, really flame at it. And I was, like, so far in the game, and then, like, I think I lost the fire or whatever. And it's, like, really, like, cell shaded type graphics. Apparently, it's not that good today. I only played it for, like, five minutes, so I have to, like, try it again. But I remember this game was just fucking wild. Like, it was incredible-tastic. Um, and I remember, like, see, this is what I'm saying. GameCube is, like, the memory box. So... I remember one day my dad was like here we'll get you a game so we go like giant eagle and like you know we do our stuff then we went to GameStop and my dad got me a memory card for the GameCube and Mario Party 4 and I played that like every fucking day like that was so good like that was just like the fucking game like it was amazing it was incredible like, Mario Party, like, that's why I love Mario Party 4 today, because, like, the boards are so nostalgic, yeah. and the games are so nostalgic, and I remember, I remember them being so fun, and even when we played it in our, in our Mario Party series, it was, it, like, it, it was, like, perfect. Like, the pro, like, when we were playing Mario Party 5, it was like, oh, this is Mario Party, but it doesn't feel like the Mario Party I know. When we played this... It was. It picked up exactly where I left off. Yeah. It was like, oh, everything's the same. Like the, it's like the music, the the sound effects, the little animations when going in between menus. It was just like, boom! Like it was perfect. It's, you know, because there's so many times when you pick up a game that you've not seen in a while and it's nothing like you remember it. It was exactly how I remember it, and it made me so happy that I could have I could have cried because I, I didn't have played this game like 10 plus years Mario Strikers was another thing where my dad was like yeah I'll get you a game and we go to GameStop get Strikers this better be in the GameCube where I'm gonna flip shit yep there it is and um me, me and my dad played it he showed me how to play it he kicked my ass at it and then one day I, I, I think I was like a little better than him and I just like that was so fun and then me and Bill played it I kicked Bill's ass but now he kicks my ass half the time and it was just like crazy um I'm I, I'm I don't care how annoying I sound right now but this is like I'm going off my little tangent I don't care um yeah I talked about double dash battle for bikini bottom another prime example of a perfect game. I think that was another game that I had to have my dad help me with for a while. Um, either that, or like he would have to like sit in the room with me and like if I got stuck on something, he would just take over for a couple minutes. So we like played it together. Um, and like the last boss where like you're in the giant, you're inside the, the robot Spongebob. But it was like, I was so stuck on that and he had to like do it for me. And he couldn't even do it. Um, because, like, whenever the plankton bots, like, are shooting the lasers at you, we were standing, like, at the edge trying to shoot the bubble, but you have to, like, stand back, because, yeah. like, you, you don't get enough, like, time to move the bubble, the cruise bubble, or something like that. 
and um, that was crazy. And then like one movie game came out, the SpongeBob movie game. I was like, this is just like the other one, and I ended up like playing that just as much. And I remember I had a Mad Cat's controller for GameCube. And I remember playing it with that. I'm like, this controller's cool, but it's weird because it's fucking Mad Cats. It was trash. Um, I think it was, like, broken, too, because, like, a button wasn't working. But, yeah, I just remember playing that. And it's... Hey, hang on. And, like, there was so many games that I didn't even play on GameCube. Like, I never played... Oh, my God. I moved the case for Wind Waker, and there it is. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. That's, that's such a fucking prime A-plus game. I'm pulling it out right here. This game, my parents hated buying for me because um, of bongos. Yeah, it's funny. This game is so good. Um, and it was, we, my parents got it as a joke almost. Well, not like a joke. Um, like they got it because I wanted to play the game and it was a good game for me to get. But, um... My dad and his friend were just, like, joking about the idea, like, you're playing a game with fucking bongos, like, what are you doing? And, like, my, my dad was like, pretend like you're a gorilla and, like, pound your fist against your chest. And I did that, and it, like, registered, um, because, like, you, you, like, you clap in the game. Yeah. Because, of, like, the bongos have the microphone. So it's, like, like, whenever you have to, like, there's, like, bananas and you gotta grab, you gotta, like, keep clapping your hands, which is so, it's so cool, because it works so well. Um... I remember playing that so much, and but like my parents were like, "Why do we get this?" So it's like they just heard like 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 slamming and slamming and slamming to the point where I wasn't like allowed to play it when my parents were home. So like I would like try to pretend to like I would like sneak play. I'm just like I'm like shit shit shit. Oh, don't hear me. And then they're like, "You know, are you playing that?" I'm like, "No." Like, uh huh. <laughs> um. And that was good. Uh, another one, I think this is like the last one I could think of. Uh, Jimmy Neutron and um, Attack of the Twonkies. That game was gold. Uh, that was another game I couldn't play because I didn't know really. I didn't really know how. My dad helped me with it. And um, I just remember like that game. I I played it recently, like a year or two ago, and beat it. It's a really short game. But that kind of holds up. It was it was a simple game. Um, you just it was like Luigi's Mansion almost. But like each level, it would have like like thirty Twonkies you'd have to get. But they'd be in different forms. So like if you had the Twonky, like the small form, like where they just bounce around, you would just like you would use uh, like the one thing and you'd like suck them up. But like you would run out of batteries, so you'd have to like walk around finding like, the batteries. Um, or like if you got hit you gotta get, get like the bag of chips or whatever and they'd give you health and um, That was really fun uh, and, and they get to like do some problem-solving stuff to like get to a certain twonky um, but then you'd have like like the The next class up from them and they were like That you couldn't suck them up. So like Sheen if you remember like the movie like his um like, cause they, like, if you sang to the Twonkies, they would turn into the, the bad form. But Sheen's singing was so bad that it turned him back to the good form. So you'd have to, like, you, like, had to get a CD of him singing, and you had to, like, get all these other items. And you'd do, like, the super invention, and you'd, like, make, you made, like, this, like, gun that would blast his music. And you'd have to, like, shoot that at, like, the, the bigger Twonkies. But it was so hard to do because it's a kid's game and controls aren't the best. Um, it was so fucking hard to do. But, like, you'd finally get them. Because, like, you, like, as you're doing it, it's kind of hard to move around a bit. Um, and, like, these things are running after you at full speed. So you got to, like, hurry up and jump. And it's, like, it's impossible. And um, they would finally go back to the, um, like, the small stage. And you had, like, these big-ass ones, all right? And like they would like kick shit at you, and they were they were fucking hard to deal with because you had to get up close and use the sheen thing, but they took so much health or whatever, and like you'd you have to blast them for so long. You'd waste like a whole battery, and then they would turn into three twonkies, and it's like like getting rid of those it was like god, and um, I remember this one level it was my favorite level, but they were all good because like it's still nostalgia. 
Um, but it was like you're in the. Um, I don't even know if the, if it had a name, but you're like in the amusement uh, the amusement park, and you had to like do like you had to get on like these things that shoot that shot balls, and like the twonkies would like the like bigger twonkies they'd be like on like the chair swing ride and you'd like shoot them off. And then, uh, you remember Nick, the cool guy from Jimmy Neutron? Yeah. He, he was, like, he locked himself in the arcade, um, but he was like, oh, I'm just getting all the high scores, but he was too scared to go out. So you had to, like, get all the twonkies, um, and then you'd go in the arcade, and he would leave, but you couldn't leave the, uh, arcade until you beat all his high scores. So you had to play, like, these clones of, uh, like, classic games, so there was, like, a... Um, breakout clone, and he had to beat his high score. Um, there was an Asteroids clone, he had to beat his high score. And then there was a Galaga clone, he had to beat his high score. But it was so fucking cool. It's like, wow, you're playing Jimmy Neutron versions of these classic games. Like, god damn. And let me get a sip. Mmm. And some good dragon fruit. Oh shit. And then you would, like, get the items, and then you'd go, like, to the Bat Out of Heck ride, and that was the boss. And then, uh, I'm, like, nostalgia exploding. Like, this is too much for my body to handle. And it's like, I have all these games. I can play them at any time. That's why I love, with my collection, like, I could get rid of a lot of my systems. Like, I could... Like, a lot of them, like, I can't get rid of, because, like, my, the Wii U, for example, is it's a Christmas gift. That would be so fucked up, because I was so hyped for it. Um, but, like, PlayStation 2, I could probably get rid of that. Um, like, if I had to. Genesis, yeah. Xbox, maybe. But I could never give up GameCube. Because yeah. I have, like, the way I have my collection is I don't care if I have every GameCube game ever made. I, I only want my childhood. Even games that I from my childhood that I have on P like Battle for Bikini Bottom I have on PS2. I'd, I I I want to find someone who has a GameCube version and just trade them. Um, another game I had is Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. Um, that it's basically it's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. It's the same exact engine. It even says it runs off the same engine, and it's made by NeverSoft. Um, but it's all like the graphics are like kind of like overhauled so they're all cartoony and it's disney it's disney skate stuff so you have like andy's room uh you have like like zerg's lair you have pizza planet then you have like shit from like like lion king and like bambi or whatever i don't even not bambi um something else i don't even know i don't really watch I, i'm not big on disney except toy story and that's why i got it but I remember, like, that game was so fucking lit. And then they had, like, um... It was called Ollywood. Because, like... Nah, that's funny. Yeah, <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> um, like, that's... It. And there was, like, a McDonald's in that stage. It yeah. was, like, a paid... Like, it was, like, a advertisement thing. Um, and it was just, like... It was so fucking cool. And I have that on PS2 as well. If I had that on GameCube, I would... I would flip dicks. <laughs> um... But yeah, I could just go for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on this. One last game. Hot Wheels Velocity X. I was uh, at Giant Eagle one day in the kids' place. Um, on what system? GameCube. Oh. Um, and there was this Hot Wheels game that I was playing. It was so good at the time. Because it was like, you'd have like weapons on your cars. And you had to like do these fucking missions. And like blow up other cars. And it was like all this crazy stuff. And I wanted that game so bad. Like, so, so, so bad. I'm about to, like... I gotta, like, emulate that shit, because that was fun. But, like, you just, like, drive around these places, like, doing this stuff. And you just, it was so crazy. And, uh, I, like, I didn't want to leave the play, play place at Giant Eagle, because, like, I needed that game in my life. And I got it. And I was like, I am God. Like, I, like, the green car was my favorite, and, like, the last stage is so bullshit, but, like, I, like, eventually I had to, like, get rid of a lot of my games, and that was, like, the end of my childhood, almost, but then I got him back. Yeah. That was, like, I was God again, um, I just, mmm, I just remember all this shit, and it was fucking wild, like, 
all of this on one system. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Do you have anything else so, to say? Yeah, I got a couple of things. So it's like I have more, but not about GameCube. It, it's like with my childhood. It's like how I started collecting in 2014. People could say I jumped on the bandwagon of collecting, but like. But who cares? Yeah, but like, do do you do you? Yeah, but it's like I didn't do that because like I literally like gamed my whole life because like I can think I had like three different areas of like gaming like I can think of my grandma's house and like what she had is she had like a computer she had a Sega Genesis with this she had a Genesis with I think it was Miss Pac-Man that was like one of them Sonic 1 and 2 I think she had this Barbie game that hmm. if I played that now it would probably be nostalgic as dick so I'm about to go to try to look that one up because I remember playing that and then like I don't remember much on the Genesis she didn't really have much but like Sonic 1 was like I played that like all the time it was so fun and then for her computer she had like fancy true yeah like yeah like that I just I can't believe that and she had Sims 1 like legit Sims 1 and I remember playing that and SimCity 2000 was non-stop played like SimCity 2000 was insane I was just like you can like that was that was like great like her house was like pretty awesome for games and it was just insane I'm trying to think she didn't really have much after that but yeah, like, fucking Sims 1, like, that OG stuff was crazy. And then she got me, like, I think she got me, like, this one expansion pack for Sims 3 when I had it. So it was, like, awesome. And then, so that was, like, way back in the day. And then eventually, like, like when I was, like, really little, like, probably, like, 5 or 6, like, we had a PlayStation. And I think that's, like, my first system that I can remember having. Well, it would make sense because... I was born in 97, and it was kind of around that. Yeah, it came out like 95, 96. Yeah, so like, obviously it makes sense. So this is super weird to me. So like, there's so many games I can think of on PlayStation. Like, PlayStation was like, his GameCube, but like, I'm not really like... I'm like hugging all my GameCube games yeah, right now. It, it's like, I'm not into like, PlayStation that much. But like, this Hot Wheel, this, Digi this Digimon game, it's like Smash Bros, but Digimon? Or I think it's like, yeah... It, it's so fucking fun like but it's kind of expensive it's like twenty dollars i think so it's kind of bs because i'm definitely getting that game one day for like nostalgic it was so fun like it was so fun but it was like it's kind of ex it's like expensive now it's weird and then this is other game dude it's like oh yeah remember i picked up rayman from the thrift store and i took yeah. i took it home and i'm like this game i had when i was a kid and i literally had them weirdest nostalgic feeling I've ever felt in my whole life and I'm like I had this game when I was a kid and I asked my dad and he's like yeah you had it I'm like what the fuck and then I'm trying to think where else was for PlayStation Spyro that I played a lot like that was nostalgic as shit and I got it again that's awesome like any this NHL game I, like, I feel comfortable holding my games right now <laughs> like not the sound weird I think like it was like NHL 97 or something like maybe 99 or something but we had that for playstation and me and my brother used to play that like all the time like it was actually insane and then like freaking what else for playstation i'm trying to think like the digimon game like that see i guess it was more but i can't really think oh this hot wheels game for playstation that's nostalgic as crap i want to get that one day but that's like the only PlayStation games I remember right now. And then, like, <laughs> at my cousin's house, like, Luke, like, it's weird seeing, like, it's weird thinking back on memories because, like, for us, he had a Nintendo 64, and we had Pokemon Stadium, and that's nostalgic as ever. Um, I think we had Pokemon Snap, I think we had that. And oh, wait, this isn't... That's Grand Theft Auto, that's not GameCube. <laughs> Nice, Get that organ shit out of here. nice organization. And then, nah, like, because it was like in another pile. Nintendo's like, Nintendo sixty four. Like, he, my cousin had like every single game for that. Like every good game. Like we. Oh, like all three of them. <sighs> uh, more like all ten of them. Yeah, still. But like Nintendo sixty four was like really good. Like that was like childhood. Like a console actually. It was like. It was just. I'm trying to think what fucking. Shit is on Nintendo 64. We've only had Smash Bros. too, like all Kirby. day. 
Yeah, Kirby. We had Donkey Kong 64. That would Good shit. Like that. That would be nostalgic to me if I got to this one like level point. I don't know, but that's another one we played like all day. I didn't really like it at the time. Like the graphics, thinking back, was crazy. I don't know why, but it's weird. I think Diddy Kong Racing was another one, but like he had all these good games that like you legit like was good, like Mario Kart too. And then eventually, like I remember thinking back, we got he got a GameCube, and I, I don't remember much of having a GameCube except like that Simpson Sent and Run game. Mm -hmm. That was like OG, like that was a game I remember oh, yeah, playing. That's a good one. Yeah, like, I remember... That was, like, past my, like... Like, because you gave it to me on GameCube. I ended up giving it back or something. Um, but that was just, like... I don't know. That was, like... I it, it's, it was good. I remember that being part of my childhood. But that was, like, before I'm... That was, like, after I met you era. So it was, like, not as nostalgic or childhoody. Yeah, but, like... Like, the other games I talked about are, like, childhood. So, like, that was a really good one. Like, that was amazing. And then, like, eventually, I guess, like, we used to go, we used, to, I used to go, me and Brandon used to go over his house every day, like, because my dad went to work that way, so we passed his house, and we went there every single day, and it was crazy, and we played, like, video games, and we played outside. It was just, like, every day was awesome, and that's all I remember, I think, after the GameCube. That was, like, I don't know what year that was released, like, whatever, when that was released but it's like yeah like that that was it like that's like my last memory of going over my cousins every day was like the GameCube and Nintendo 64 like non-stop of those two consoles pretty much <clears throat> and then I guess that's pretty much it like I had for my nostalgic consoles when I was a kid and then yeah I was gonna well, let me think but it's just so weird, PlayStation. Like, who likes PlayStation? Like, that, I, I well, don't know why I mean, my... PlayStation's a fucking amazing system. It's just, like, now it's kind of, eh. Yeah. I'd rather just play it on, like, a newer system. Like, Symphia of the Night, the Castlevania game, yeah. is a masterpiece. But I would rather play it on, like, PS4, like, on the thing. Yeah. And it's, like, I wonder what my dad... I wonder why my dad picked the PlayStation over whatever it was at the time. Like, that's so weird to me. Probably price, maybe. Yeah, like, it was so strange, and he just had it, and we had all those games, and I'm, he, it used to be in his room. I used to play in his room, like, it was so weird, but I was thinking now, like, <clears throat> I said in the other podcast, like, um, like, going back to, like, my favorite games, like, you can tell my favorite games aren't, like, a long story mode game or a platforming game because I get too mad at them and I just I give up after like two things but like like freaking um I just get too mad at those games and that's why I like I guess you could say the same or something because it's fun and I won't get fucking pissed the fuck off at it or Minecraft is like awesome like amazing and yeah. then like Guitar Hero that's amazing like that was another game I played at like, like my other cousin's house. Like, I'm out, like I was so bad at it, but it was like so fun. I don't know why it was so fun. But it was um, OG. Moving past nostalgia stuff, one thing that I guess you could say is nostalgia, but not entirely. To me, is PlayStation Three, and the reason for that is. Growing up, I think, like, when I had the Wii, when, like, because I got that when that was new for Christmas, um, I ended up, my dad had a PlayStation 3 for a little bit, um, he got it, and he played, like, Metal Gear 4, um, for, like, a little, he, ne he never beat it or anything, um, but then I played Sonic 06, and that was, like, the funnest game fucking ever. Wait, let me close all these case cases at once. <laughs> It's not like cracking a neck. Um, but Sonic 06 was so fun. To yeah. Me. I mean, even now, like, it's a fuck. It's like, that game's a fucking mess. But I can still have fun with it. A, because it's nostalgic. B, because it's a fucking mess. That's why. Um, but, like, playing that game was just like. I was like, holy fuck. This is, like, 
future mystic Sonic. Like, this is Sonic from the future today. Like, it was just so advanced for me, and it was just incredible. Um, and, like, I just, that was, like, the only game I had on PS3. Then my, but my dad got rid of it, um, yeah. because he never played it, and I only played it when he, like, when he was done playing it. So I'd only play it for, like, 30 minutes-ish, and that was basically it. Um, it was never really mine. But I always, I was like, why did you get rid of that? Because my dad got Xbox 360. Um, I'm just like, why would you get rid of the PlayStation? Like, I wanted that. Like, I would have played games on and everything. Um, so sometime down the line, um, I just, I wanted it. Because, like, PS3 was just, like, kind of, like, nostalgic almost. And when I got it, like, I bought it myself. Like, that was, like, it, because I got it from, uh, like, right, like, the day after Christmas, and that day was crazy, um, I remember, like, it was yesterday, I had, like, so much money from gift cards for Christmas, that, like, the day after that, I went to GameStop, my mom woke me up, and, like, the only place that had a PlayStation 3 was, um, this GameStop in, like, Oakland, which was pretty far from me. Um, so we drive all the way out there, and I buy the PlayStation 3, and I'm like, I am God. Oh my God, holy shit. It was, it was the Slim, that kind of sucked, but it was alright. And, like, my uncle had a PlayStation 3, and, like, that was, like, I, I saw him play it, I'm like, I need this. Um, but my mom didn't want me to, like, set it up, because, like, that was, like, back at the time when, like, setting up a system was kind of, like... For me, it wasn't like, oh, just X, 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 done. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. So I'd, like, wait for my dad to wake up. I'm just, like, staring at the box. I'm like, oh, my God. I bought a fucking PlayStation 3. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. And, um, I remember, like, some games I picked up. Um, fuck, what did I... I got Metal Gear 4 because my dad wanted it. Um, and I... Um, I think I got Sonic 06. In fact, I know I did. I got Sonic 06. And I think I... Yeah, I got Little Big Planet. And... That's fun, too. Yeah, dude, wait till I get to that. <laughs> because that's gonna be crazy. Um, that wasn't supposed to, like, be in, like, a... Jerk thing. I was, like... The, the way they came out seems jerky, but... The, I, was, I was saying out of excitement. Yeah, I so, um, my dad wakes up. And he's like, oh, I'll help you set this up. And, like, I do my my famous names, Green Phase Zero Zero. And, like, my profile was Ratchet and Clank. And, I, like, it, it took us a while to set it up. Because, like, I couldn't, like, make him the account or whatever. I forget. Or it was, like, setting up the internet. I don't know. But, like, it's, like, we, like, I, we set it up. And I'm just like, god damn. Like, I, I have this. It's wild. Um... And Little Big Planet was strange because I didn't think I would like it that much. Like I saw it and I was like, eh. But that ended up being one of my favorite games ever, and it's still like, I gotta play it more. But like, even though Little Big Planet two and three is out, I always go back to one out of nostalgia. And I just like remember, like once I got through the first few levels or something, you could do like the online like player made stuff and it's literally like they say it's endless yeah and like it's always up and it's just like i could play that for like so long and like there was all these levels that i would play like the bomb survivals were so funny because yeah. the music that played was like hilarious and like i was like oh can can i make it it's fun with friends like even more like, yeah way more. i just like it was one of those things where like it was like experiencing stuff I just played it by myself all the time, and it was so chill. Um, and then, because I used to be in the basement back when my basement was, like, lit as fuck. I missed that so much. Um, it was litter than it was now. So, like, I'm trying to think. Then, oh, God, oh, God, PlayStation Home. <laughs> yeah. PlayStation Home back. was so incredible for me. Like, I just loved 
the fact that you just walked around. Like, I miss that so much. Like, the fact that Sony got rid of that... I know, that's horrible. Yeah. That it's tragic. Yeah, like, it, it really, like, it, it's depressing. It's honestly depressing. Yeah. That it, like, it makes me sad, just right now. That's just, like, how close that was to me. Um, I was always on that at, like, at midnight, just playing it. Just, like, walking around these places and, like, talking to people... People would be like, follow me. Yeah. And it's like, like they would take me to, like, play some, like, Namco, like, they do just, like, play a trial for this Namco game. But, it, like, I didn't have money, so I couldn't buy, like, Namco Museum. Because I was cheap. And I didn't have a job or anything. I was 10 years old. Uh, hiccup. And it was just, it was so fucking incredible. And then I wanted to get that Hot Wheels Velocity X game again, um, but I got it. I was like, oh, I can just do it on backwards compatibility. But it was a slim PS3, so it had no backwards compatibility. I got so pissed off that I like took the disc and I like rubbed it against the ground, and it was like fucked up. Like there was there was no way. It was like a good condition game. Yeah. And it was like you're not playing it after that. It was that bad. So I went to GameStop the next day and like it doesn't work. Um, so my dad, like, within that time, he, so what happened before I got Hot Wheels Velocity X is, um, he, he showed me this game that was like it, where, like, it, it was by Sega, and you, like, were these cars that had weapons on them, and you had, like, these missions, and it, I got it, it was a decent game, but I, I just didn't really dig it that much, because it wasn't open world, um, so then he was like, well, me and my buddies are playing this game. It's called Burnout Paradise. And he showed me videos. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, I'm hearing the music right now. And I got it. And I was just like, this this is crazy. Like, holy shit. And that game was just incredible. Like, I, ne I never even did, like, the races or anything. I just drove around and did crazy shit. And then Bill came over one day, and I was playing it with him. And that was, like, the game. Like, we always have, like, some kind of game that we end up playing together for, like, ever. So, like, it, you, it was, like, Mario Strikers for the longest time. Or, uh, it would be, like, GTA or whatever. Um, right now it's, it's pinball. We've been playing a ton of pinball together. But back then, it was Burnout Paradise. You'd come over, we'd play Burnout for hours. And I think I mentioned this in like one of the older podcasts. Um, and I think we, I think I put the video up. I'm saying that as if it's the future. It's it's not up August twenty third, twenty seventeen, but it's sh it should be up whenever. So oh my god, this time travel stuff's really getting to me. Um, <laughs> good thing this is the last episode. Um. But, like, we just played that all the fucking time. Like, it was crazy. And I remember I wanted to get the DLC for it. And I was like, I was like, you should buy it. And Bill was like, eh. Um, but, like, the DLC gave you the, uh, like, the extra map. Uh, yeah. the Big Surf Island. Which was probably, and I think it was confirmed, that it was actually, like, supposed to be part of the game. But EA was like, no, just section it off. Because it was on disc DLC. They were like, just section it off and sell it later. Then they had, like, the car expansions. And there was, like, the, um, P-1288 Special or whatever. And, like, that car was so cool because it was so fast. And you'd, like, click in the one button and the wheels would, like, it would hover. It was, it was basically the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Then they had, like, the one car that was, like, the Camaro. It was, like, the GT Nightwing or whatever. I forget. But it was, like, whenever you would, um whenever you do the boost like the back it had like these lights and you go well 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 but it wasn't like a police siren it was just like the car being cool and it was so fucking amazing and then the ps vita came out and i at this point i wasn't really playing the ps3 anymore so i sold my ps3 Lol. and got the vita and the vita was a piece of shit and it still is <laughs> fuck the vita I had that for like a couple months 
and I'm like, you know what, fuck this. Not only did I sell my PS3, but I sold my iPod Touch, which was basically my phone. Yeah. Like, goddamn, was I like hungry for money? N- like hungry for the Vita. Like I was do, I would um, do. It. You sold that for the Vita. Yeah. And it's like, wow. And like, I feel so bad that I did that because that was a Christmas gift that iPod Touch. <sighs> And, like, my parents made me feel like shit for it. And I used that all the fucking time. I was like, why? Like, looking back, I was like, why would I do that? That That's retarded. And I still owed money to get the Vita. Yeah. Because GameStop is shit. So I got the Vita, got it, like, I played it for, like, a little bit. And at that point, I just, I sold it. And I was like, fuck this. This is a shitty system. I wasted so much money. My parents were basically like, I told you so. So I sold it and got the GameCube. And this was right before games got super inflated. Got the GameCube, I got Pikmin 1 for like $2 and it didn't work and we buried it. Mm. Um, I think that's on Alpha Clock. Yeah, it is. That's kind of cool. I gotta watch that. Not tonight though, because I'm tired. Um, maybe though, I don't know. Got Pikmin 1, buried it. Had Mario Sunshine, Double Dash, uh, Luigi's Mansion. And I think something else. Fucking Sunshine's price is absurd now. I'm hugging my games again. I own them. But yeah, then my games got stolen. And I had to buy them again. I was salty. Yep. I yep. But I own them all. Dude, the, like... I have Pikmin 2 now, fuck yeah. Dude, freaking... I, I got, like, every console at launch. Like, I got literally, like... GameCube at launch. I got Fat PS2, then I got Slim PS2, then I got the Wii, then I had the like fucking everything. Like GameCube, Wii, then what was before that? Like I got like every system that fucking came out. Like it was crazy. And I remember when like you know what else is good? Need for Speed, Carbon, and Most Wanted. Uh, on Underground Two, some stuff. Yeah, from. those were pretty much like those were like childhood games for me too. Like Most Wanted was really good. Carbon was so good. Yo, I remember when I got fucking Xbox 360. That was like God. Uh, yeah, I got that. That was, that was like when God came down the earth and said, "Young Ian, it's time to experience the experience that you've never experienced before." That was fucking good. I was like, I was like, yes, God, I I accept your gift and thank you. And I got that at launch. Hugh. Like, straight up, a month later. Hold up. So, it's like, here I am. And, like, I I kind of wanted Xbox, because I didn't have the PS3 anymore, but I wanted a system. And I was going to get another PS3, I think. Wait. Trying to think. So, this might have been before I got PS3. And I know for a fact it was, because I wanted PS3... And my dad was like, why don't you get Xbox 360? It's better and cheaper. And I'm like, okay. But then after I got 360, I think I got PS3. That sounds about right. Um, so I kind of wanted one, but I wasn't like too crazy about it. But then I remember um, Black Friday was over, and it was like a day or two after. And like my parents, because uh, my mom goes with her friend Jamie for Black Friday shopping. They came home, and like I was awake for some reason. And, like, they went to her house to, like, unload some stuff. And I checked the basement, and, I, like, I saw, um, like, a Kinect game. And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Then, like, a week later, um, my mom asked me to grab her purse in the dining room. I grab it, and I, like, there's a receipt from Toys R Us. And it's, like, Need for Speed. Uh, it was, like, like, MW. And I'm like... What's MW? It was most wanted. And um, I'm like, oh my god, I think she got it. Fucking Christmas Day, I open up the Xbox 360. I'm like, there it is. Yeah. There it fucking is. And then I got Call of Duty Black Ops, Need for Speed Most Wanted. A Kinect game that actually wasn't bad and it was fun as shit because I played it online with my friend. And I'm like, I'm like... He, like, it's here. It's right now. The time is now. I was fucking shit at Black Ops, but it was like goddamn 
Christmas fucking morning. I'm playing goddamn Xbox 360. Yeah. I'm like, what? Like, it was crazy. It was like my f first real time. Like, yeah, I had PS3, but I never, I didn't buy a single game for it since. No, I ended up buying Harry Potter for it, Order of the Phoenix, which was such a weird game. Like, it was like, just like the movie. But it was like, what? And, um, I never knew what I was doing, but like, I never really got games to the PS3. But I was just like, Xbox 3 fucking 60. And like, I had the connect. I was loaded. I was just playing it every day, doing anything. It was like, wake up, Black Ops. Wake up, Need for fucking Speed. Yeah, that Most Wanted. Fun. It was incredible. And it was like, the best time of my life it was like the like that's the thing is like my favorite systems are so strange gamecube it's lit fucking ps3 it's lit because the exclusives are so good like like why do i like ps3 little big planet enough said fucking xbox 360 even if you can play a lot of the games like on pc to me xbox 360 was like the next ps2 it was just the best system. Like, the fucking Xbox 360. It's, it's like nostalgic, too. The menu yeah. screens. Yeah, that ass. Yeah. Like, whenever they did, like, that new menu, that was, like, the end of my, like, nostalgia with it. Because I, I, I got it when they had the second... Because, like, like, the Windows 8 menu is, like, the third menu. Yeah. And, like... Yeah. But like, oh my god, just fucking... Dude, uh, freaking, Christmas, like, is still, like, always the best holiday, no matter what. Like, you always get that feeling on Christmas morning, no matter what. Like, every hol every other holiday now is so boring, but, like, Christmas is just great. Yeah. Like, it's so... I don't know why, but... It's the greatest thing. Right. What, what game? What Some fucking book? Saying things make us laugh, make us cry. But right now we gotta take care of our business. Go see your brother at the cemetery. Come on, let's bounce. You wanna drive? Yeah, that's cool. Nice car, smoke. You know me. It's not cut. Keep the value. Keep it free. Look up like best 3 ds I miss you these five years, man. You're gonna be real happy to see you. <laughs> hey. Everybody blast yeah. on food first, yeah. then ask questions second. Just the liability, it's CJ. Really Enjoy your future. It's gonna be great. Why are you about to coming back? Straight back into the game, right, dog? Hey guys, hope you really liked that video. And if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You should also check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. See you again soon. soon.